The next vitamin is the vitamin E, which is also called as tocopherol. So this vitamin E or tocopherol is a heat labile vitamin. And it is the most important antioxidant in the body due to chromine ring. And this vitamin E acts as a free radical scavenger and it is responsible for maintaining integrity of the cell membrane by fighting with peroxides which are produced continuously inside the cell, especially RBC. And the daily requirement in children, it is approximately 10 to 15 international units per day and in adults, it is approximately 20 to 25 international units per day. And what are the sources? Vegetable oils, sweets, almonds, nuts, spinach, all are the good sources of vitamin A. Now let us concentrate on functions of vitamin A. Vitamin E is extremely important to preserve all the unsaturated fatty acids which are also called as polyunsaturated fatty acids. There is a reason vitamin E prevents lipid peroxidation in vivo. Due to its antioxidant property mainly because of the presence of chromine ring, it is used for prevention and treatment of retinopathy as well as bronchopulmonary dysplasia. So vitamin E also helps in maintaining the integrity and potency of the seminiferous epithelium to maintain it intact and its deficiency leads to sterility. There is a reason we will call it as vitamin E is responsible for the maintenance of germinal epithelium. And studies have showed that the vitamin E may slow down the progression of HIV infection. Recently, vitamin E has been used to treat atherosclerosis where there will be increase in the HDL cholesterol level and nocturnal muscle cramps, intermittent claudication and fibrocystic breast disease. And the deficiency of vitamin E is responsible for increased fragility of erythrocytes because of increased oxidative damage to the RBC cell membrane and neurological dysfunction, especially muscular dystrophy and in the neonates causes mild hemolysis and ataxia. And when vitamin E is taken excess can lead to necrotizing enterocolitis in the newborn. But remember that vitamin E is considered to be the least toxic vitamin in the body. And this is about vitamin E.